comic book villains, evil space aliens, and North Korea seem to have two things in common. They frequently want to destroy the Earth, and they suffer from an extreme lack of ambition. Because why go to the trouble of blowing up one measly planet when you could wipe out the entire frickin' universe? Kim Jong-un, please look away now as we investigate whether it is realistically possible to destroy the entire universe. Number 3. Stretch It If you want to destroy the universe, all you need to do is encourage it to speed up what it is already doing. At present, we believe the universe is expanding 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec. This is happening because space itself is expanding rather than the universe. And while we once thought that the driving factor behind this was the momentum generated by the Big Bang, it turns out we were wrong. In the early 2000s, we realized that something called dark energy was causing the expansion of the universe to accelerate and this acceleration may continue forever. If true, this will eventually cause the heat death of the universe, where everything is so far apart that energy becomes distributed evenly across everything. Hooray, space communism. Such a situation would prevent all processes that use and generate energy from taking place, meaning that everything in the universe would simply stop happening. The heat death of the universe is estimated to occur in 100 tretrintillion years, which is 100 plus 102 zeros. However, if one were to discover how dark matter works and figure out how to manipulate it, this process could potentially be sped up. And if you can make the universe expand at a fast enough rate, you could destroy it many eons before it was supposed to die of natural causes. Number 2. Crunch It Another way you could destroy the universe is by triggering a big crunch. This is considered to be one possible outcome of an overstretched universe, with the methods employed in the previous entry causing the universe to collapse in on itself rather than stretching to infinity. So far, we have not observed anything large enough to cause a big crunch on its own other than the universe itself. We think that galaxies and stars operate in a similar way to the universe, albeit on a much smaller scale. When the center of a massive star collapses, it forms a black hole, which in turn pulls things towards it due to its gravitational power. There is also a supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy, and we think there may be one at the heart of every galaxy in the universe. How these supermassive black holes form, we do not know, but it is theorized that they are tied to the mass of a galaxy. When a galaxy's mass grows, the black hole also grows, with dark matter possibly having a role to play in this process. But if this turns out to be accurate, then it's also possible that our universe has its own supermassive black hole, which could be the equivalent size of all the mass within our universe. So, if you can somehow create your own gargantuan black hole by particle colliding, mass replicating, or destroying a few massive stars, you may end up causing a black hole so large it triggers the beginning of the Big Crunch and squishes our universe back into the initial singularity. Number 1. Vacuum Decay The first two entries in this list seem a little unachievable, don't they? Giant black holes, manipulated dark matter, it's too much hard work. But what if I told you that you could easily destroy the universe by fiddling with one single particle? To explain how this might work, we need to understand two basic truths. First, everything in the universe contains a certain level of energy. Metal, cheese, uranium, stars, gas, horses, everything. However, if I were to burn a horse, some of its energy would be removed. The remains of the horse would have less energy than it did when it was alive. Got it? Good. Second, we must understand that things don't have to be burnt to make them lose energy. 
Everything in our universe actively tries to lose energy in an attempt to move towards something called a ground state, which is the lowest state of energy held by an atom or a particle. For example, if I had a wheel of cheese teetering on the top of a hill, it would be unstable and contain a large amount of potential energy. Kick that cheese off the hill and it will roll down to the bottom of the hill, losing its potential energy and eventually settling into a stable state. Everything in the universe adheres to these two basic principles, and this includes the largest stars all the way to the smallest objects on the quantum level and below. But this poses us with a problem. The laws of the universe are decided by quantum fields, which tell particles how to behave and respond to each other. Because of the propensity for all things to strive for an energyless state, we think that every field and law of the universe has now decayed into nothingness except one, the Higgs field. The Higgs field gives particles their mass. It regulates gravity, and it does a whole bunch of other things and exists everywhere across the universe. However, the Higgs field is not stable. It is described as metastable because it is pretending to be stable. It acts as if it is currently in the lowest state of energy it could possibly be, but it is not. Remember the cheese we mentioned earlier? Well, imagine if there was a hole next to the cheese which it could fall into that we previously didn't know about. This is basically the situation the Higgs field finds itself in. At any moment, the cheese could fall into that hole and cause something called vacuum decay, and that is not good. Vacuum decay begins with one particle of the Higgs field decaying down to an energyless state before expanding out in a massive sphere at the speed of light. This would release a huge amount of energy that would destroy anything it touched, with the sphere continuing to grow indefinitely, wiping out the entire universe and resetting every known physical law. This would put in place a bunch of new laws of the universe that we cannot even begin to comprehend. Time might be purple. Gravity and gravy could be the same thing. We have no idea. Oh, and the delightful thing is that this event could happen at any moment. It may even be underway somewhere in the universe right now. And if it isn't, all it needs to be triggered is either a large energy event or a single tiny quantum event which can happen at random. Quantum tunneling is a quantum mechanical phenomenon whereby a particle bores through a barrier that it shouldn't usually be able to penetrate. If this kind of quantum fluctuation were to occur within the Higgs field, it could trigger the whole false vacuum process, kicking off the chain of events which eventually destroys the universe. So yeah, if you figure out how to do that, don't. And that applies to all the entries on this list. Because why would you want to destroy the entire universe when you could build one for yourself instead? We're going to tell you how to do just that in our bonus video, How to Build a Universe, which you can watch on our Patreon page at patreon.com slash strange mysteries. For a $2 a month pledge, which you can cancel at any time, you'll get to watch this and all of our bonus content, which goes deeper and darker into every topic than YouTube allows. If you don't want to donate, then that bullshit. We know you wanted more. Strange mysteries on YouTube and our Patreon bonus videos weren't enough to quench your search for truth, to give you that sense of awe and wonder again, to go past what you thought was the end, to give you the answers you seek, but which only lead to more questions. That's why we just up the stakes. Chemicals of reality. Reality, consciousness, brains. What else is there? Ask yourself that question. Perhaps that's all there really is, but perhaps everything else is found within a place where these ideas, these things, overlap. Some thing, some place that is undefinable. To many people, altering certain chemicals in their brains produces what they would simply call hallucinations. In fact, what we're going to discuss specifically used to be called the businessman's trip, as one could enjoy it. Come down and put your pants back on in the time it takes to eat lunch. It wasn't taken seriously. Well, unless, of course, you started digging. And some people, including us, did. 
Already, though, to many people, this chemical is special amongst others. Very special. To them, it represents something more meaningful and incredible, as if it's the gateway to the next level of consciousness. The ticket to a higher reality barely explored by most humans. It is the entry point to a new reality, visited by only a select few whose minds have become enlightened through the use of this exotic substance. For this reason, it's commonly referred to as the spirit molecule. But is its reputation as a mystical mind opener deserved? Or is it and everything it represents just a load of bullshit? We look at, investigate, and dive deeply into nearly all available research regarding this question from nearly every angle feasible. And in the course of doing so, stumble upon unexplainable patterns, correlations, and neurological evidence for a reality existing beyond this one. Watch this hour-long Strange Mysteries premium video, Chemicals of Reality, as well as many more to come by becoming an elite premium member of our Patreon at patreon.com slash strange mysteries.